Hello folks, Sam Owens here with a nice product uh, for the elderly and people with disabilities. Uh, this is a inflatable shampoo basin kit set. And what it'll allow is for people that are uh, have to stay in bed and don't get a chance to go out and get their hair done. Uh, it's very nice to have a way of doing it uh, while in the bed. And this product uh, was designed for that. So I think it's going to be a big help to a lot of people. We'll have a demonstration toward the end, so stay with us. All right, here's what you get. Now, first you get the instructions, which are very clear to understand. Uh, read the whole entire thing and get familiar with it before you start. So we're gonna put that over there for the time being. Right here is a little card they give you with uh, all their contact information. And I understand right at the bottom, it's a lifetime guarantee. Okay, right off the bat, here's what you get. This is a bib, it has a little Velcro on there that allows you to put it around uh, the person's head and kind of protect their uh, body clothes from getting any kind of splash over water, you know, which can happen. So that's a very good uh, thing to have. Is you get this uh, bed pad, which is a very good idea. Uh, things should always go just right, but just for that one time that things don't go exactly right and water uh, comes out of the basin for so, or the sprayer, uh, here's a mat that will go under the uh, basin. Right here, this is the old workhorse. This is uh, a, the spray valve uh, right here, and this is the spray nozzle. There's no pressure other than gravity that's going to get the water out. This is a water reservoir right here. And actually, it's going to, you're gonna to have to come up with a way of hanging it on something up at a, a level that's above their head a good amount that will allow you close proximity. And gravity, when this is filled up, gravity will force the water out of the uh, nozzle in. There is a valve, and when it's across like this, the water doesn't come out. Plus there's a on and off arrows on here that uh, if you forget, and it doesn't really matter, you can go any way. Here is the water fill area. You can just put it under a sink, faucet, and fill it up. Uh, and this is what you're going to pump the items up for the, uh, basin. This is the way it goes right here. <clears throat> there is the plug and what this uh, is going to do is uh, block the water from going out until you want it to go out. So you push this in tight and water is going to collect in the basin as you wash the, the person's hair and uh, this will stop the water from being able to go out the hose. Then later, when you're ready to drain the basin, this is a way you could get a trash can, hang it over the edge of the bed, and we'll try to demonstrate uh, this later. So this is the first thing you inflate, and what this is is a little pillow that's going to bring the person's head above the bottom of the basin. I think that's an excellent idea. I didn't even think of, of how they were gonna handle that until I saw the pillow there. There's a place to inflate it, and in the steps, that's one of the first things you do is inflate the headrest. They call it a headrest. And so that's what we'll do. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. And what you do is, just so you can see a little better, you just stick this in. You gotta pull this away so you get some pressure in there. Okay, now. So, just like I did, pull that away because 
it was blocking the air from coming in on the end. So there, it's starting to, to pump. Now, it might take you a little bit. Uh, it says five to 10 minutes, and you can see, uh, you need to take your time and have this pumped up. I'm just gonna do this once, then I'll start the basin pumping and show you that. So you just need it up there uh, where it's nice and firm, and then you plug this in right here, and it will push in. See how that pushes in, and then later it'll pull out like that. So just push that in firmly, and right there, can you begin to see that they even have it shaped nicely to cradle the head? So I think that's a, that's a good feature right there. So now let's go to the um, uh, to the inflating of the uh, of the basin. <laughs> I looked all over, backwards, forwards, and finally found it uh, right here. Is the uh, input to uh, inflate the basin, the entire outside area, right here. And it's right across from the headrest, and this is the part that go, your head goes into. So look straight across in the pleat. And so it kind of hides it, uh, and, and I just run my hands around and found it. So just thought I'd share that with you. Again, you stick this in, and you'll get to a certain point where it's tight in there. And then again, pull this out like that so that uh, you, can, you can start pumping. And then start pumping. And this is gonna take you a little while uh, to do. I'll come back in a little bit when I've got it pretty well finished, okay? And let you see the last part of it. More tip about this. Make sure you get a pocket in there where you can get free flow of air uh, and the end of the nozzle is not up against the plastic area. Or by holding on to the cap or the plug there like that, it gives you a little more control of holding the connection good there. Okay, we're at the last stages. It's starting to feel nice and firm and we're gonna stop. So I take this out then you push this in like this and you kind of push your finger around the back and it'll plug in there real tight and you want it all the way in so it doesn't drain the air out and then push this in like that and then it won't be snagging it'll be smooth okay this will collect the water from the sprayer and uh, so you, you want to monitor that and it should hold the bag of water without any trouble. This is eight inches high. We have the uh, area set up for the demonstration. I have a folded uh, sheet and the, uh, the protective mat is underneath the basin. And we have our uh, storage bag for the water is attached over the back of the headboard and I've taken these clamps that I have and just instead of putting a hook up there this is uh, the right thickness that my clamps will work just fine for clamping that on temporarily or you could mount a hook you could mount velcro on here and go over the back like that but I elected to just use these clamps and they will work just fine to hold the bag up there. And I would have water in it already, but I uh, thought I'd show you the setup. And now you see that I, my water level is gonna be far enough that I can turn this on like this and wash the hair, then turn it off. Okay, folks, we've got her uh, bib in place, mat, everything is in place. Her head is lay, laying on the little cushion. And are you comfortable right now? Mm, lovely. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to put water in it. I am going to just demonstrate and you can visualize water coming out of here, I hope. Okay. When we're ready, we would have our shampoo. All of our products would be on the table or close that we could uh, use. 
to wash the hair. I turned the water on like that. And then the water would be coming out and then I would wash her hair with soap and everything. Turn the water off. I can just drop that down and do the wash and then come back, turn the water on and rinse the hair thoroughly. <clears throat> and uh, then turn the water off. I think this demonstration kind of gives you an idea of how the product works and how it uh, may help you and your situation. To finish uh, the demonstration, uh, you would want to empty the, uh, the shampoo basin uh, through the hose would be the easiest way and what you would do is need some sort of a trash can or a bucket or something or other and you're going to put it inside and you got to go lower than the um, uh, than the basin so I would suggest you put it down like this then you would open the valve up you want to, uh, there I'm just holding that uh, so I can use two hands now the water would start going out and it's not going to be in, in a strong force. It'll just be a nice steady flow. And then you can empty out the whole basin and you can kind of tip it if you need to, to drain all the water you can possibly get out. And then uh, you're ready to wipe this dry, all completely dry. And then you can deflate it by taking these tubes loose, pull this out, and then you have to pull this cap off, and then you have to kind of squeeze it. It's got a check valve in there, you have to squeeze it to kind of let the air out. So if you let go, it's not going to go out, so squeeze it, and you'll eventually get it out. See, it's starting to go down now. So after a little bit of time, uh, it will all of the air will go out. And then same way here with the pillow, you pull this up and then pull this out. And then you have to squeeze this there and then all the air will come out. Squeezing it allows the little check valve to release and uh, let the air out. So I'll go ahead and uh, get all the air out later and that completes the demonstration. So put this in a place where it can dry and uh, it can be used again at another time.